This is game one of the 2017 World Series, and we have a premier pitching matchup on our hands. Dallas Keuchel is on the mound for Houston, and Clayton Kershaw takes the hill for Los Angeles. We're going to start off in the top of the third inning, where Houston gets it started first, as Carlos Correa puts the Astros on top 2 to nothing with a two-run single, but the Dodgers would start to get it together. In the bottom of the fourth inning, LA scored one on a Grandal RBI single, making it 2-1. to one. Then later in the bottom of the sixth, with two men on, Corey Seager steps up and puts one out. A three-run homer to give the Dodgers a 4-2 lead. Next inning, the Dodgers have two men on once again. This time it's Yasmani Grandal up against Francisco Liriano, and he hits yet another three-run home run, giving the Dodgers a 7-2 lead. They would go on to win game one, 7-3, behind the Kershaw 8-inning, 14-strikeout performance, and they would take a 1-0 series lead. In Game 2 of the World Series, Houston needed a strong pounce-back performance, and who better to send out than Justin Verlander, who has been money throughout the whole postseason. For the Dodgers, they would send out Rich Hill, who's been a really solid number 2 starter. In the top of the third inning, Josh Reddick got things started with an RBI double, which gave Houston a 1-0 lead. And then, in the top of the fourth inning, Marwin Gonzalez hit a solo home run, extending Houston's lead to 2-0. In the bottom of the fourth, LA answered back. As Corey Seager blasted a solo home run, his second of the series, cutting Houston's lead in half. From that point on, Justin Verlander was in complete control. The Dodgers could not get anything going off of him, and he ended up going 7 strong innings and striking out 12 batters, only allowing one run in the process. Ken Giles, the Astros' closer, would come in and shut the door, tying the series at one game apiece. Game 3 of the World Series could be pivotal in deciding which direction the series ends up going in, and for the Dodgers, Hugh Darvish will be on the hill, and the Astros will send out Lance McCullers Jr. Houston got off to a pretty good start, with Altuve singling home George Springer in the first inning to get a 1-0 lead, but from there on out, things fell apart spectacularly. In the fourth inning, LA took the lead with a Logan Forsyth two-run triple, and this opened the floodgates. In the top of the sixth, Logan Forsyth drove in another run, this time an RBI single, making it a 3-1 ball game. The Astros brought in Francisco Liriano to try and hold it right there, but things didn't exactly go to plan. With the bases loaded, Jock Peterson came up, and he cleared them with a three-run triple, making it 6-1 Dodgers. And then later in the inning, the Dodgers reloaded the bases, and Chris Taylor hit a grand slam, making it 10-1 and putting the game out of reach. But they weren't done yet. In the top of the seventh, the Dodgers had the bases loaded once again, and then Jock Peterson put the icing on the cake, hitting the second Los Angeles Grand Slam of the game and making it 14-1. Darvis pitched seven strong innings, striking out 11 batters in what can only be described as a very lopsided win for Los Angeles. In Game 4, Charlie Morton is trying to bounce back along with the entire Astros team, while Alex Wood is trying to keep the momentum going in LA's favor. Things didn't look good early for Houston, as Corey Seager hit yet another home run the first inning, his third of the series, and he gave LA a fast 1-0 lead. Now going to the top of the fourth inning, the other big lefty in the Dodgers lineup gets it going as Cody Bellinger absolutely destroys a solo home run, making it 2-0 Dodgers. Alex Wood was cruising through six strong innings, but that's before Ross Stripling came up in the bottom of the seventh inning, and everything went down the drain. It was 2-1 LA, but then the Astros had the bases loaded with George Springer at the plate, and he promptly unloaded the bases. A grand slam by George Springer, which gave Houston a 5-2 lead. Then, three batters later, Carlos Correa came up with two men on, and he absolutely mashes a three-run homer, making it 8-2 Houston. Then, later, in the eighth inning, George Springer connected for another home run, this one a three-run shot, giving him seven RBIs on the day, and giving Houston a 12-2 lead. Will Harris came in to pitch the last three innings, and he absolutely shut the door for Houston, and he helped them tie the series at two games apiece. Following the last two games, which were both blowouts, both teams tried to settle it down in Game 5 and try to keep things a little more in control. Both the Dodgers and the Astros sent their aces out to the mound, 
to try and get a rematch of game one. And early on, you could tell it was going to be a pitcher's game. Kershaw and Keuchel were both dealing for the first five innings, trading zeros back and forth. Both of them making hitters look very silly. Everything changed in the bottom of the sixth inning, however, as George Springer came up to lead off and he got a hold of one off of Kershaw smashing a solo shot to left field and making it 1-0 Houston. Then, a few batters later, Jose Altuve came up with the man on first, and he hits one into the gap, and Alex Bregman scored all the way from first, making it 2-0 Astros. Dallas Keuchel was dominant all day long, going 6-2 third innings, only allowing 4 hits, and the only run he allowed was in the 7th, after allowing an RBI single to Kiki Hernandez. That would be the end of his day, but the Houston bullpen stepped up and did their job, shutting the door and shutting down the Dodgers, giving the Astros a 3-2 series lead as they head back to LA for Game 6. We are back in Los Angeles for Game 6, and it's a rematch of the Game 2 starters, Justin Verlander and Rich Hill. This time, Rich Hill is hoping things are more favorable for him and his Dodgers, as they look to push it to a Game 7, while the Astros are just one win away from winning the Fall Classic. Right off the bat, the Dodgers would get off to a good start as Corey Seager hit yet another home run. His fourth in the series, and the Dodgers took a very early 1-0 lead. Then in the fourth inning, the Astros would strike back. George Springer blasted a solo home run to tie the game up at one, and then two batters later, Jose Altuve hit a solo shot, giving Houston a 2-1 lead. But the Dodgers would not go down that easily. In the bottom of the sixth inning, Logan Forsythe ties it off of Justin Verlander. A solo shot, the fourth homer of the game combined by both teams, and it's 2-2. Two two. Then, in the top of the seventh inning, with Ross Stripling on the mound, the Astros delivered the killing blow. El Oso Blanco, Evan Gaddis absolutely destroys a solo home run, giving the Astros the lead once again. Then, in the top of the ninth, Cameron Mabin singles home Gaddis, making it 4-2 Houston, providing a much-needed insurance run. Now we go to the bottom of the ninth inning. Man on first, and the Dodgers are down to their final out. Ken Giles on the mound, looking to close it out for Houston and win the fall title. Ken Giles on the mound, looking to close it out for Houston and win the fall classic. And he strikes out Yasmani Grandal, and the Astros have won their first ever world championship. George Springer would win MVP as he hit four home runs in the series, wrapping up the exciting 2017 MLB season. What a year.